Questions involving angles. Um, level 6, National Curriculum, Grade D, GCSE. Um, some of the rules I'm going to use in here aren't really level 6, but when you combine them in, into a more complicated questions, such as this question here, we're using multiple rules at the same time, that makes it a much higher level question than this sort of question, which is, can be quite complicated. and may even be a Grade C question on our GCSE paper. Um, so we're just going to run through some of the basic rules. and. A classic thing we've got to do is to give a reason for your answer. So you've got to explain the rule you're using. So some of the basic rules we use, um, this one is is where two lines cross, um, the angles that are vertically opposite. I'm not 100% sure why they call it vertically opposite, but they, they actually want that name in its complete form these days. So um, where two, two lines cross, the angles that are opposite or vertically opposite, they're equal. So these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal. So x is 64, so you get a mark for getting the 64, giving your reason, and you've got to use the phrase vertically opposite angles are equal. And that's the key there, that's the rule we're using, opposite angles where two lines cross are equal. We don't really need to put where two lines cross, just as long as we use that phrase vertically opposite. Okay, here's another situation, angles around a point. Um, you should really know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees because you're going all the way around. So that's 200, so we've got 360 minus 200, which is 160 degrees. So why is, what's the reason we're using there? So angles about a point, or angles in a circle add up to 360 degrees. Could use a little symbol there, but it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, on this third section, we've got multiple rules we're going to use here. Um, this is what we're trying to find. So let's think about working backwards from here. Well, this is clearly angles on a straight line. These two angles here add up to 180 degrees. Um, I know this angle is 30. How can I work out this angle? Well, these two lines tell me something about this triangle tells me that it's got a line of symmetry coming down the middle because these two sides are the same. So this angle and this angle are the same. So we know the angles in a triangle up to 180. So we have 180 take away 30 is 150. And then we divide that 150 by 2 to work out one of the angles. So that angle there is 75. And it's always a good idea to draw your angles, write your angles onto the diagram because often that is, is taken as being a um, showing your reasons. Um, and then we need to do 180 minus 75 equals um, 105 degrees. So P equals 105. Why is that? Well, what do we do? We use angles in triangle equal 180. Um, isosceles triangle two angles equal and then we use the angles on a straight line on a line equal 180. So I've just written out the, rule, the three rules we used in that question. Angles in a triangle that's 180. The fact that two angles are equal from an isosceles triangle, that's terrible writing. Not sure that helps but there we go. So use three separate rules in that question and again different rules to these ones but you need to know how to use those and that's pretty much covers all the basic rules. Vertically opposite angles, angles around a point, angles on a straight line, um, when you've got marks on a triangle telling you it's an isosceles triangle so you've got symmetry and then angles um, in a triangle 180. So let's have a look at this. Um, GCSE question, uh, complicated question. We're trying to find out the angle X here. We're told a load of bumps, which is actually just the stuff that's on the diagram. So these two sides are the same. So this is isosceles again. So these two angles are the same. And then we can maybe use this angle here or use this and this and this. So there's multiple ways of getting to the answer. Let's actually look at the first step. So give reasons because angles in 
triangle add to 180 and BCD is isosceles um, this angle let's call it A A is equal to 180 minus 50 sorry 2A is equal to 180 minus 50 because there's two of them one on each side because there's our line of symmetry again um, so 2a equals 130, so a equals half 130 was 65, so we can put 65 onto the diagram. So now we've got two, we've got two options, we can use this angle here, 65, these two, and this one form a triangle, which is probably our easiest one, or we could go angle here, makes a straight line, and then use this triangle. I'm going to use the big triangle. I'm going to use the big triangle. So angles in a triangle in triangle A, C, D equals 180. So we've got X plus 65 plus 20 and 50 or 50 and 20 equals 180. So these three angles here add up to 115, 135. So x plus 135 equals 180, which tells us that x equals 180 minus 135, which is 45, 45 degrees. So x is 45 degrees. We've given our reasons as we've gone along, just saying the rules that we used to get to the answer. These two sides are the same, and therefore the triangle is isosceles. Isosceles. And that tells us that this angle is 60. So we know x plus x plus 50 equals 180 because the angles in the triangle at 180. So 2x 